like, how crazy is you? Uh, uh, what do you do? How do you get somebody to do something like that? What you do? Call them on the phone and say, listen, I need you to help me get rid of this chick. And, I, you know, I killed her. You know, I, I bashed her in the head with a hammer and I, I, I need to dismember her body. Can you help me? How the hell do you ask somebody to help you do some shit like that? Y'all, y'all some, it's some crazy people out here in this damn world. She didn't let this fool talk her into getting her ass a 20 year sentence. You foolish ass woman. You just, so, you a broken vessel. And he took totally advantage of your brokenness. Because you was married to another soldier, but this other soldier got you, got this other soldier has, has you helping him dismember a corpse. Uh. According to the FBI complaint, Robinson told Aguilera he killed Gullian and moved her body off to a remote site in the count in Bell County. Aguilar and Robinson then disposed of the girl's body. The complaint alleges that it was some time later that Aguilera recognized the missing soldier as the female she had helped him bury. CID Senior Special Aide Damian Phelps said in a press conference Thursday that investigators were looking into Robinson's connection with Gillian. Robinson was stationed in the building adjacent to Gillian on the Texas base, but any relationship or interactions between the two cannot be confirmed because of an ongoing investigation. Further information about the role Robinson played in the Houston native's disappearance was also not revealed. You weak ass punk. The lawyer for Gilliam's family, Natalie Quam, says she had planned to file a sexual harassment complaint against Robinson the day after she was killed. Mm-mm-mm. She's a little bit too late. Army officials said they had come across no evidence of Gilliam being sexually harassed after opening a separate investigation into the claims last week but encourage anyone with any information to please come forward. Okay? Y'all already know the MO. It happens all the time. Their investigation never finds nothing. Okay, that's going to implement them and make them look bad. Like the police department. That a rogue soldier who couldn't have her inside the killer. Quam said Gillian was working in the armory with Robinson when she told him she was going to report him. She said the man she said the man then grabbed a hammer and began bludgeoning her over and over and over and over. She said she was told by officials that he cleaned up the area where Gillen was killed, placed her body in a container, and wheeled her out to his car. Best place for a killer to go, huh? Killing your fellow uh, officer, fellow soldier, because she don't want to be bothered with you. Because she don't have anything for you. So you decide to kill her. What the hell really going on? She said she was told, oh my God, again, that he placed her in a container and wheeled her body out to his car. Later that afternoon, Quam said Robinson drove to pick up Aguilera and then they took her body to a nearby river. There, Quam said the pair tried to burn her body, but later dismembered it with a machete. Then they put a cement on the body and buried it, the remains. She added that the remains were so badly damaged that medical officials were unable to use her face or skull bone recognition or for dental record confirmation. According to the criminal complaint filed by the FBI on Thursday, the remains have not been formally identified in Gillies. Aguilar of Kyleen was was arrested and charged with one count of conspiracy to tamper with evidence. Quam was claimed Aguilar was Robinson's girlfriend. 
Gillian was last seen at the Fort Hood Army Base in Kylie, Texas on April 22nd wearing a black t-shirt, light purple leggings, and black Nike sneakers. Her car keys, barracks room key, identification card, and wallet were later found in the armory room where she was working earlier in the day. Volunteer group Texas Equal Search came across the remains in an undisclosed area of Cornell County, not too far from the site where the remains of missing soldier Gregory Widow Morris were found on June 19th. Morales, who was also known as Gregory Waddell, was last seen on August 19, 2019, driving his personal vehicle outside of Fort Hood. He was to be discharged within days after his disappearance, the Army said. So, a $25,000 reward is being offered for any information about his death. Morales disappeared about eight months before Gillian vanished from the base, and they are not thought to be linked. I'm so disheartened by this because, again, it just solidifies it for me when you women go to the service and put yourself in that situation. And sometimes you have no choice because your circumstance, and I get it. But you better be thinking about protect yourself at all times. Because you in a, are in a situation just like a black people for, for, the, for the most part. If anything happens to you, more than likely it's just like you shouldn't have been here. Or more than likely it's something you did wrong. You, know, you had on sexy clothes or, you know, did you, did you, uh, uh, did you resist arrest? Or, uh, it's pretty much the same MO or description when a woman is killed in the service. That's a very sad story, and I really hope for justice for this beautiful young lady, Vanessa Gillian. And um, I know he killed her because she didn't want nothing to do with him. And he looks like the type. Weak. With that being said, I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.